Hi, today we are going to take a look at the new Holy Land Mars 300 Pro wireless HDMI unit. So, let's see what it can do. We recently received two wireless HDMI units from Holy Land, which represent part of their new line of affordable app-supported devices. The Mars 300 Pro that we shall be looking at today is an update to the original Mars 300 wireless video system that was announced over a year ago and was one of the first fully featured affordable sub $500 wireless units on the market. As we have mentioned in our original post covering the Mars 300 Pro announcement, since the original version came out, the company released several other systems with important innovations including USB-C power as well as full wireless app support for both iOS and Android. Let's take a closer look at the Mars 300 Pro. In the box, we got a transmitter, PX unit, and a receiver, RX unit, which are almost identical externally aside from the TX-RX marking on the side and the input-output HDMI on the TX unit versus the two outputs on the RX unit. We also got a simple mounting cold shoe and a single mounting attachment with a female quarter inch 20 with small thumb screws. This one is great and we wish Holy Land included two of these, one for each unit. Do note that you will need to provide your own HDMI cables and USB cables if you want to power the unit via USB-C. The app support is one of the biggest additions to the Mars 300 Pro over the previous generation. Initially, we had some issues connecting our devices to the Mars 300 Pro over Wi-Fi. We believe that these originate from the devices that we have used, especially our aging Google Pixel 2 XL. Our phone seems not to see the Wi-Fi signal coming from the Mars 300 Pro, even at close range. What was helpful was turning the Mars 300 Pro on, waiting a minute or two and only then start looking for the Wi-Fi signal on the smartphone. One drawback that we would really love to see Holy Land fix is the fact that when you connect your phone or tablet to the Mars 300 Pro, you lose your internet connection, which of course is not ideal if you're going to use the device for a long time. The Holy View app, which exists in an Android and iOS versions, is probably the best remote camera app currently on the market. It has almost all of the advanced options of a professional monitor, including waveform, histogram, focus peaking, zebras, frame zone, magnify, although it would be nice if this one would have the option to also magnify the entire frame and not just one area, false colors, monocolors and lots, including some common built-in options for Canon and Sony and you can of course upload some of your own. You can also take a snapshot, super useful for those YouTube thumbnails or even capture a video which you can use for reference. We didn't find a vector scope option, but we guess that Polyland might be able to add that later on. We also asked Hololand if in the future this type of app will be able to control the camera, but this will obviously require hardware changes, so we might have to wait for a new model to do that. There are many possible use cases for a unit like the Mars 300 Pro. In our studio, one of the most common ones is viewing the image captured by our camera when shooting top-down product and food videos and photos. In a recent project that we shot of a vegan dinner, we used our Sony A7R Mark IV mounted using a 9 solution double joint arm from a Kupo wheeled stand over a table and instead of running a long HDMI cable all over the floor, we hooked the camera to the Mars 300 Pro TX unit which was powered by a USB power bank and transmitted the signal to our 27 inch 4K BenQ monitor on another wheeled stand with a Mars 300 Pro Pro RX unit on the back powered by a new computer. The setup worked flawlessly for several hours and the only thing that we wish we could add was a simple way of controlling the camera when it was not physically accessible. Although we really have no need for a very long range wireless HDMI in our studio, we did run a test at the two ends of our studio which is close to 20 meters or around 65 feet and had no real issues when working with the TX-RX units. There is really very little not to like about the Mars 300 Pro kit. It is lightweight and compact, 
pretty well built with a useful screen but most importantly it works out of the box no need to change anything a true plug and play especially with the unit to unit mode the inclusion of the USB-C power option is a very welcome addition in our view and although some users actually prefer the 6 to 16 volt DC power input of the previous generation, we are huge fans of USB-C power being much more affordable and universal and the way it is implemented on the Mars 300 Pro is such that you can use even a very basic compact USB power bank. The Moth 300 Pro has some lag but it is relatively low from our experience when using the transmitter and receiver units from a normal distance in our studio. The app has significantly more lag from our testing and we would use it for monitoring and composition and certainly not for time sensitive work like focus pulling. Although we did experience some issues connecting the Moth 300 Pro to our mobile devices as we have mentioned, we are more inclined to see this as a problem with our aging units and not with the HoloLens products. Regardless, when connected, the app itself is very well made and HoloLens should really get a big credit for it. Selling for just under $450 for the standard unit which we have tested or $470 for the enhanced version with two external antennas for better reception in high interference environments, the HoloLens 300 Pro is certainly not inexpensive but presents a very good value for money in our opinion. So that was our look at the Holyland Mars 300 Pro wireless HDMI unit. You can check out the full review on lensbit.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos just like this. See you next time.